Hey, welcome to the Danger Zone. It's Ashley. Everything in this video was found on a public domain. Lots of love and many blessings your way. Has this not been the worst circus freak show of a tour you've ever seen in your life? From his photoshopped green screen walk through the landmines, talking about how he was there and noticed in the area how everybody were poverty stricken because of these landmines? Do you really think he's staying up all night, worried about the world's problems? The way he acted at that meal that his PR people, you know, tried to piece together for him an authentic meal in South Africa with this random family that they paid and they were so rude, bellied up to their table, pushing food around, not taking a bite, then jetting off directly to Johannesburg to check out the Soho house and their spa. Give me a break. Then, of course, we all seen her give the signal to her guy over this little toddler that wanted to play. But when she knows there's a camera in her face, she's all smiles. Just as fake as she was when she had a private moment that she made sure was photographed of her honoring that murdered 19-year-old girl. I wondered why she wanted it photographed so badly since it was a private moment between her and this deceased 19-year-old innocent college student. Just her merching another kickback piece, that's all. Here's what the camera caught while they were talking about the murdered 19-year-old girl. Does she look full of grief? And of course, the biggest mind game was by acting as if they trusted the South African people more than anybody else on the planet by bringing Archie out. And don't forget, she doesn't miss a merch opportunity, does she? And as she gives her sexual assault against women, women's empowerment movement speeches, blah, 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 she's giving the world a peep show. Why would you feel that comfortable being in an area that's high crime, especially against women in a sexual nature and have your boobs pushed up under your chin? She doesn't even feel safe enough in the area to wear her jewelry. Hello? Empowered women do not lead with their breasts. I promise you this. I've talked to my friends that have lived there for the last 27 years, okay? They're Americans that retired and moved to South Africa to become missionaries. And they said this entire thing has been a show from the jump. They went the first day seeing if they could get some sort of answers to their questions. What they heard while they were there the first day was a bunch of nonsense talking about the millions of dollars they had planned on pumping into the area, all for anything but necessary good. Also, I wanted to talk about this. Kay contacted Megan right before the tour took off. They're saying that Harry confided in Kate regarding Megan and her overstepping her boundaries during the past tours. And it's been said that they had a huge blow up in Morocco. Everybody's gone out of their way, as it seems, to really accommodate Meghan, the Queen especially. And when Meghan decided she wasn't going to go to the games, she wanted to watch Serena play, that really did it for the Queen. To the degree that the Queen said, hey look, I don't even want to hear her name, when she had that visitor go horseback riding with her. So Megan was contacted by Kate prior to the tour. Harry feels a little uncomfortable when you take the lead as you have in the past. He's known this for years. Let him handle it and you follow. What do y'all think happened? They said that every time they turned around, Megan was cutting Harry off. He can't even speak, you guys. Everybody's joking in the area how he had to fly away, get away from her, and he still couldn't shake her loose. She had to budge her way through to be front and center in the spotlight. That's so gross. But like I told my friends, you know, look, it wouldn't be happening this way if it wasn't for Harry. What Megan wants, Megan gets. For example, several Range Rovers were waiting on them, shipped from the UK to South Africa for when they landed. They didn't trust the, the vehicles in South Africa to be safe enough for Harry, Meghan, and Archie. Should that not insult people? 
They're trying too hard, you guys, to gain control over South Africa. I'm really thankful, though, that people are not as stupid and gullible and naive as they think they are. And sadly, there's probably very little that they can do about it, and they know this. But they feel like it's just another land grab. And my friend and her husband are worried because this, of course, can cause further damage to the economy. They can't afford that much more. And the violence will be over the top extreme. All the while, Harry's trying to preach conservative living. What does he know about conservative living? The locals are even saying it's just an, an open-faced vacation for the family that's lasted 10 days in South Africa. They've gone about it all the wrong way. They really have. Oh, and in case you haven't heard yet, Megan has struck up a lawsuit. She feels like her privacy's been breached. And she's not taking it anymore. Her lawsuit is against Mail on Sunday, as well as Associated Newspapers. If she cared that much about her privacy, she would have taken the initiative to scrub a lot of nasty stuff she's left behind online. And she's well aware of it because a lot of it she leaked out herself. I'll see you soon and we'll talk fast. Stay safe and be blessed.